Well, hello there. Happy Friday to you. Faith Pocatello Daily here. It is the 3rd of November, 2023. Philippians chapter 1, verse 29. For it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake. Wait a second. Uh, I thought I was gifted eternal life. Oh, you were. I thought I was gifted the forgiveness of sins. Oh, you were. I thought I was gifted the 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 presence and the guarantee of the Holy Spirit. Oh, absolutely you were. But guess what? That means you're going to suffer for Christ. It's been granted to you. Um, well, no one told me that. Well, you know, I mean, you know, changing identity, uh, going from darkness to light, from death to life. Now, there might be some challenges there. Um, and what I think it's interesting is, is that we realize that when we are spiritually awakened, we realize there is a battle between the flesh and the spirit. So let's just start at that level. You're going to suffer by having to deny the flesh, being in the middle of this this, this battle where the flesh says, I want to serve myself, and the Spirit says, no, nah, actually, um, it's better to serve Christ. It's better for you to, to glorify Christ. And so we find these moments um, of conflict within ourselves, and that's a suffering that happens between the battle between the flesh and the Spirit. They are odds against one another. And then you realize that in this world that um, people aren't fond of God or of Jesus Christ, and you represent him. And so there will be some suffering just for the mere fact that you profess his name and are a new creation and bring light to every dark situation. So take courage. It's been granted you. So we take everything that God gives us as a gift that is necessary for not only ourselves, but also for bringing him glory. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.